So I'm here to introduce the sculpture program here at SIU. Uh, my name is Olivia Waro, and I'm a first year graduate student here. Um, let's see, how did I get here? Um, I developed an interest in art early in life. As soon as I could pick up and draw with a pencil, I started drawing. So I've always been interested in art. Um, my first 3D work I made in elementary school. I was lucky enough to have access to clay in a kiln in elementary school. Um, and then throughout middle school, I started playing with yarn. My parents got me a sewing machine. So I started working with fabrics and textiles. Um, my inspiration comes from the world around me. So I make a lot of animals, wildlife. And this is some of my work from high school. Why an interest in the arts? I continued practicing. This is what I was good at. This is what I was driven to do. So um, I worked with a lot of clay in high school. And when I started applying to colleges, um, I kind of expected to keep working with clay in college as well. Um, one other thing I wanted to add, I am a big cat lady, so my high school art teacher gifted me cat skulls, and that just started this obsession. Um, so moving on, I was accepted into the University of North Florida. Um, I started discovering new mediums, started experimenting with different processes. I learned how to weld, I learned how to cast, um, and I thought about how materials work together to create a whole. Um, this is some of the work that I created recently this year. Um, let's see. I started focusing more on fibers and mixed media in my smaller scale work. Um, I really like to reference uh, textiles and let's see. I, I enjoy making patterns and figuring out how to piece things together from a 2D perspective into that 3D form. I like to use a variety of materials. Some of them are recycled, some of them are luxurious. Uh, these pictures here are all recycled materials that came from the river that I um, applied to an armature to create these. So I think that having an armature is necessary for what I do. This is some of the process that I go through to create. Um, that's the bare armature, the fabric pieces uh, that I'm piecing together around the armature, the sewing process. So, and then these are a couple more of my complete sculptures from my undergrad work. Um, these guys have that steel armature inside of them, and I had to create a pattern around the armature to uh, make the final artwork. These are some of the other works that I've explored. I've done a lot of public sculpture, and I like to be involved in the community. So I had the opportunity after I graduated to continue going back and working and creating these large-scale sculptures to build my portfolio. Um, let's see. And then finally, community involvement. I was really into community involvement down in Florida. I was a nonprofit board member. I did work for the museum. I uh, did work for the city of Atlantic Beach. Uh, I have public sculptures out at the beaches there. Um, and then I was also a middle school art teacher for a while, so I helped bring the youth into that public art and allowed them to paint a mural on the outside of the school. I helped organize that project. Um, so yeah, that's my presentation. Questions, uh, blah, 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 if you need to contact me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>